Let's move on to the next question. Here we have what? Sketch the graph of the curve y equals to 3x. Okay? For the values of x between minus pi and pi. Okay, great. Now, this is the part one of the question. Again, this is only a sketch. So as always, whenever we have to sketch a graph, we always or we always try to use a table of values because it will just help us to know exactly which point we have to join to form the smooth curve. Now part one, this is my x value and my y values. Be this, and what is the interval we have to choose? To choose the interval, we have to look at the value here. It is one, so that will be pi by two divided by one, that is simply pi by two. So the interval will be pi by two. So this will be plus pi by two will be minus pi by two, then will be zero, then pi by two, and then pi. Again, pi by two is simply 90 degrees. So initially, we always begin with 90, and we divide by the value which is in front of x. Here we have one. So divide by one, that will be still 90. So 90 degrees will be your interval between the values of x, which is pi by two. Now, minus pi plus pi by two will be minus pi over two, plus pi by two will be zero. So as you can see, as going on, we have this interval that we need to form the graph. Now let's find the corresponding values of y. We place this back in the equation. Here we have to use radians. So three sine of minus this, that will give you zero. Then we have over two, that will be minus three. And again here we have zero, that will be zero pi by 2, so 3 sine pi by 2, that will be 3, and this will be 0, let's check, 3 sine of pi, that will be 0. So as you can see, clearly we have these points, we have to join them to form the graph. So let's try our best here. It is only a sketch, so it doesn't need to be exact, so we can do that, and do this. This will be the x values and the y values. Here it is 3, here we'll have minus 3 for example, right, and here we have pi by 2, uh, let's over here, that'll be minus pi and pi. So let's mark the points. So here first one is 0, and this will be 0, and this will be 0. And we know this will be minus 3, so minus 3 is right here, and this will be 3. That will be what? That will be this. That will be this. So connection, this, and this, and this. As you can see, this is a sketch for your graph of y equal to 3 sine x between the domain of minus pi to pi. Okay, that is part one of the question. Now for part two, the straight line y equal to kx, where k is a constant, passes through the maximum point of this curve for this. So let's think. We have a straight line y equal to kx. Great. This is a straight line. Now, it passes through the maximum point for the curve. So observe, where is the maximum point? It will be this point. This point is a maximum point, which is the point pi by 2 and 3. This is the maximum point of the curve. So we have to use this information to find the value of k in terms of this. So pretty easy. This is the point, which is the x value and the y value. Replace back in the equation. y, when y equals to 3, the value of x was given to you by pi over 2. So which means, from here, k have to be, we have to do what? Cross multiply, that will be 6 over this is the value of k. So, so let me let me simplify this. If you guys don't understand, so we have three equal to k pi over two. We can just cross multiply. So three times two is six, and then we have k pi. So k have to be six over pi. In terms of pi, the value of k will be six over pi. Now for part two, we have to state the coordinates of the other point apart from O where the line and the curve intersects. So let's find out where does it intersect. So now we know that y is also equal to what? Um, k is 6 over pi x. 
This is my equation of the line. Now, where does the curve also meet? So, very simple. If you observe, this curve is symmetric, right? If my line passes at the maximum point, it also means that it would pass also at the minimum point. That's why it says state should be pretty easy with no calculation. Just by observation and kind of understanding that your curve is symmetric, if it passes through this point, it will go through O and it will also pass through this minimum point. So part three of the question, the point will be minus pi by 2 and minus 3, which is your minimum point on the curve. And that will be the question in relation to trigonometry.